Okay, so your, the next part to do is to build your egg cup. So we're going to delete these, um, these initial sketches and have a little look. So whatever your design is, whatever your original design is, before you can go ahead with that, you need to take import uh, a number of uh, eggs from other students. So it will be different dimensions. And then try to make an egg cup that's going to actually fit those um, all of those eggs. So initially here we're just going to do a very simple um, little drawing here of a little egg cup. Really, uh, not too worried about the overall shape, um, but we are going to um, to again make sure we can control the tangency at different points by making sure we have enough. Um, CV dots here to enable us to, to keep things nice and flat when we when we do a revolve. Uh, otherwise, we're going to get a very sharp point in here. So we need to be able to control here, and the same down at the bottom here. When we revolve it, we want to be able to control it. Now, all these points are adjustable, and uh, no doubt you'll have measured it to see what size you want. Or maybe you haven't, but the the point being that um, that all the eggs have got to fit inside the egg cup and be supported by it in some way or other. And there's only two ways you can do that. You can either have a, a much larger um, cup, which enables them all to fit in. So, so they've essentially all got to fit in here. Um, or they only touch at one point, which is the widest point. So you can have a design that um, perhaps was quite wide here, uh, but then curved back in again. So at this point I'm going to switch off grid snap to allow me to, to adjust those more smoothly. And you can see this egg here perhaps could um, would drop in to a certain extent and then it would stop. So whatever your design is for your egg cup, uh, I want you to start with uh, establishing, clearly establishing that it's something that's actually going to function. It's going to be able to hold an egg um, securely uh, while someone's eating it. Uh, so we'll, we'll go to surface, uh, revolve. It's a very really simple exercise. We'll switch grid snap back on again just to make it easier to, to click on the uh, vertical line there. And there's my revolved egg cup. And uh, so, sorry, if we go to the perspective view, and there it is. Uh, we know that the egg fits inside. We don't have collision detection as we have in uh, as we have in Silverwatch, so we've got a bit more careful and go in and uh, and have a look at um, whether or not this actually fits inside here. So make sure you've made one of these and make sure that it fits um, the whole range of eggs that might be used for an egg cup. So no point making it only fit one type of egg. So quick quick exercise just to establish some of the functional characteristics. Uh, and I suppose one last thing, when you come to make your own design, we, we don't want something that's uh, top heavy. So if, if you end up with something that's going to um, that's going to be way up in the air, then, then the whole thing's going to fall over. So have a little think about that. Make sure it's, it's uh, sturdy enough and, and can hold, hold itself up. Uh, otherwise, when you're ready to start your own design.